Hello, Oz here, and I am going to show you a real world situation that um, I deal with on a regular basis. All right, a lot of times, and this is a very distilled version of what I might have. I certainly wouldn't have just, well, not often, not uh, four columns and just um, 151 rows. Sometimes, you know, several thousands, tens of thousands, and several hundred thousand, you know, columns, you know, it'll be a lot more messy than this. But the point here is that um, we have IDs here, all right? And these do translate to someone else's name, as I describe over here. And someone else is building the list they're finding out who is 4F56. All right, so maybe I won't have that for a week, but I would like to go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna use some bogus data to get started. So what I'm gonna do is take you through this process. We're gonna be using the bogus data. We're gonna use a simple pivot table and we're gonna do a VLOOKUP. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we've got all of these codes here there are 150 I don't know if I've got 150 different ones 10 different ones that are just being repeated I don't know right now so what I'm going to do is a quick pivot table that's insert pivot table I want it to be on a new worksheet okay all right, and I'm going to do employee ID, row labels, and then let's go ahead and put um, amounts over here. Okay, and I'm going to format this for money. All right, so this is showing us that we have 25. All right, see down here, count 25. We've got 25 unique IDs. So 25 employees are uh, ac uh, uh, accountable for this money. All right. So I'm going to go back over here and say, all right, it would be nice if I didn't have to deal with these numbers. So what I'm going to do is, since I know there's 25, I'm going to my folder where I keep dummy lists so let's go to fish and name these people uh, give them fish names all right so I just grab some fish copy and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to paste and then I'm going to Go back to my pivot table and grab these codes. All right, so. We don't need these. Okay, let's get rid of them. All right, so 2P54 for right now is file fish. And whenever whomever gets back to us with the master list, we'll know who it really is. All right, so we've done a uh, dummy data. We've done a quick pivot table. And now uh, we're going to do a VLOOKUP. All right, equals VLOOKUP. Look up over here. All right comma and now our range okay comma we want it to go one two we want it to count two and then false because we want an exact match all right so and another trick is to make sure we got to put these dollar signs in I'm doing f4 F4, and that locks the range down. All right, so now 4F56 is fire fish. All right, so 
Here we go. Now we can begin to look here and see. All right. Firebar Danio, flathead catfish. All right. Mm, a lot of feather fin knife fish. Lots. All right. And one thing that I did do, and um, I meant to hide this before I started, but I did do a count if. And a count if is saying, okay, how many times in column C is 4F56 showing up? And it's showing up one time. This is feather fin knife fish showing up 26 times. Flag fin six times. All right, so that does allow us to do some things. Let's see, um, fish. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna paste values. All right, so now I'm gonna do another pivot table. Let's see, insert, pivot table. Okay, all right. Amount and then okay, now we can see feather fin knife fish six thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars. All right, flounder four hundred and sixty eight dollars. All right, and then a week passes and we get a call saying, Okay, I have the names and the codes matched up. All right, great. Ah, 2B51 is Ron. 4N62 is Tim. Okay, fantastic. So, we'll go over here. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go to where I had the fish lined up here. I'm going to paste this here and just see if they're lined up. Okay. All right, 5L51. Okay. So, this one is not flat loach, it's actually vents. All right, let's get this put in. Now, let's go back to our transactions. All right, I'm gonna do my V lookup again. and false and make sure that this is accurate here all right now I need to do the f4 f4 got it okay Deanne all right, so now we've got it. Now we've got it. Grace M is showing up a lot here. All right, so that's it. Now we know we saved time. You know, uh, we were able to use some fake data in order to get something in place, test it, see how it works. So that's how I've used dummy data a lot. And I showed you the quick pivot table to give us a sense of, okay, how many of these codes do we have you know so we determined that out of 150 we actually had uh, 25 and then we used a VLOOKUP to get everything associated so that's it for now and let me know if you have any questions and um, hopefully you got something out of this thanks a lot